right, awesome, let's get started. So welcome back guys. In this second video here, I'm gonna be going through how to build a winning mindset when it comes to your online business. So we're gonna be covering a whole bunch of stuff in here today. Um, I'll try and keep it pretty short and concise, um, but a lot of this stuff in here is very, very powerful. So while I'm just kind of skimming the surface, I would encourage you to explore this stuff a bit more, you know, kind of do your own fact finding research and, and see what you need. But I'll message, uh, mention some references in here of things that have helped me, uh, kind of where I found this stuff from, but it has gone a very long way in helping me uh, to keep the momentum going with what I've built and created. So uh, if you can't tell, I got a, a better microphone here <laughs> for this video. So you see me turn my head, I'm like talking to it. I don't really know why, but um, the sound on the first video kind of sucked. So I figured I'd bust out the good mic and uh, I'll leave a, just a thing in the description so you guys know where to find it. You can check it out. It's uh, the Blue Yeti mic, it's not too expensive. It was like a hundred bucks, but the quality is is uh, undeniable compared to the computer mic. So let's get into it. So really this is the most important piece that you need to develop as you get into putting your online uh, business together, right? So if you if your mindset's not right, if you, and I don't mean from a, you know, go, go get them, search and destroy kind of mindset, but just from a general, you know, belief in yourself and positivity, you're already starting off with, you know, kind of one leg in the race and you're gonna be sort of hobbling along the entire time until you can, um, you know, really, really believe in what you're doing and, and see the value in what you're doing. And that's gonna help you to push forward. Um, and that's why it is the most important piece of the puzzle. So you could have the best programs on the planet. You could have all the software and systems and all these things people talk about. But if you are unable to see the value in what you do and get that across to other people, it's not going to matter because you're not going to have any confidence when it comes to selling your stuff. You're not going to have any confidence when it comes to executing when people push back and you need to kind of be that firm, you know, coach figure for them and, and help them get their results. So really, um, you know, having that self-esteem and believing in what you're doing is critical for your success. So, um, you know, I'll cover what I can in this video today. If I have to make another one to kind of, you know, keep reiterating, I absolutely will. And like I said, I'll put some stuff in the description with, um, you know, any and all resources I can to help you build that as you go through this. So what else we're going to cover? Uh, definitely want you to, to think about why you're doing what you're doing. Uh, we're going to have a slide for each of these as well. Um, you know, how much do you care about what you're doing? Because if you just don't really care, then you're not going to get very far in the first place. Um, and you'll see that that caring piece, while it might sound, uh, you know, like there's all sunshine and rainbows and <laughs> and whatnot, it is extremely important to, to your success for sure. Um, up on the top right here is what's in it for them. So you need to be considering this as you're going through and building your programs. You are, as an online coach, in a service industry. So if you don't go to it with the mindset of, okay, what's in it for the people that are signing up? You know, what am I doing to, to serve them and contribute to them? Um, you're not gonna be doing so hot. So you always wanna be considering, you know, what am I putting together that's in it for the people participating and people who are interested in what I'm doing? Um, we'll talk about that a bit more in a bit. And then we'll get to the last two pieces here that are uh, beyond important for sure. And they're gonna help you to build this mindset. And one is goal setting um, and just, you know, having a clear sort of understanding of what you're looking to get out of what you're doing. And then the second of those two is affirmations, which is gonna sound Again, probably a little hand wavy, but in my opinion, is probably one of the best things I've ever done to help accelerate my progress and um, you know my self-esteem and belief in, in what I'm doing. So um, the goal setting and the affirmation stuff I'm going to cover today, I do every day, um, sometimes two, three times a day, and definitely would encourage you to pay attention um, for that part specifically so that you can use it and kind of harness the, the power. So let's uh, let's dive in. So the most important piece obviously is your mindset, how you're handling all this stuff and positioning yourself to build an online coaching business. And you know, you might already be doing stuff in person and that's totally cool, um, but online is a different beast. And so you might have confidence being in the gym, working with a client one-on-one, -on -one, but you've never done the online thing, right? You don't have that ability to just walk up to somebody and build rapport. How do you do that? Um, you know, when you're online, I'm going to show you how to do that in, in subsequent videos, but it's going to start with your mindset and your confidence in yourself and just your overall self-esteem. Um, so first piece here is your attitude, right? Your attitude equals your altitude. So if you have a shit attitude and you're negative all the time, or you hang around people that are negative all the time, you're probably not going to be going very far, very high. So what you want to make sure you're doing as you go through this. And obviously if you're new to it, it's going to be tough. 
you know, get your footing at first and, and get rock and roll, which I hope these videos help to mitigate some of that. Um, but if you can keep a positive attitude, you know, an attitude of service and how you can help others, um, it's going to make the whole journey one, just a lot more rewarding and a lot more fun, right? Because if you're positive more often than not, you're probably having fun more often than not. Um, and if you're kind of seeing, you know, the good in, in what you're doing and how you're helping others, it's going to be like a, just a more pleasurable experience all around for sure. Uh, the second piece is an abundance mindset. So, you know, you probably run into this before, and I know I certainly have where, you know, you might say, okay, I'm, I'm going to, you know, carve out a, a space for myself in the market and I'm going to be serving these people and helping them, yada, yada. And you might have someone say, oh, well, you know, if you, if you get in here and you help these clients, you're going to be taking away from this person or, you know, if you, whatever you have to understand there's over 7 billion with a B billion people on the planet. Um, the likelihood of you scooping up all of them is, is zero. You're not going to do it. So that's number one. And number two, also, you need to think there, there is a market out there for just about anything. So if you go on to Amazon, right, they sell, I don't know, millions of products. I don't even really know tons of stuff, but there's, there's a market for everything. So if you think that, oh, well, you know, I will only want to help people in this certain market. I don't think there's really anything out there. There's a whole world out there. And so you need to understand that there's one, there's plenty of resource for sure. And two, that, you know, you're not necessarily taking away from somebody else. You are, you're carving out your space and, and competition is a completely healthy thing. Um, so if you're out there and you're providing the value and you have a great service, people are going to come to you. Um, and, you and you should, you know, be okay with that. That's for sure. The other thing is too, is there's plenty of money in the world. You know, a lot of people, there, people have a scarcity mindset around finances and money, and it can be a very touchy subject, but there's enough money on the planet right now for every single person to have a $1 billion net worth. It's a lot of money, right? So don't think that, you know, just cause you're going to take maybe a hundred thousand out of that, that anyone's even going to notice. It's not, it's not that big, uh, in the big picture of things, it's not that big a deal. So you need to understand there's plenty of people out there. There's plenty of money out in the world and plenty of people who need your help. So it's okay to, you know, want to put yourself out there, even if you're nervous or scared to, to start doing so. Uh, next, why are you not already uh, building your business and, and being successful with this? And I'm going to tell you the answer. The number one, number one reason it boils down to um, in all cases, and you can marinate over this all you want. But in my opinion, it's a lack of self-esteem. So people who undervalue themselves and who don't have the confidence and, and the drive and they don't have the drive, they don't have the confidence to really push through and put themselves out there are generally the people who are not successful by whatever means that is defined by you. So if you think that having more money means you're successful, then and you don't have that right now, it's most likely due to a lack of self-esteem. Um, and so how do you how do you change that? How do you fix that? You can do that a number of ways. And you probably see it all the time. I mean, here's here's a great example. Um, if you go on on social media and you watch like Gary Vaynerchuk, you see Gary V out there, he's constantly talking to people about how, you know, you should do what makes you happy and don't care what other people think and this and that. And ultimately what he's doing is he's helping people, you know, start to look inside, boost their self-esteem and kind of build their own value. Uh, you know, for themselves. And so as a result of that, they start to actually take action and like take control of their life again, where people who, you know, don't really have that level of self-esteem kind of just get in the groove. And that's that, you know, they sort of live the rest of their life in that position. And I'm sure if you're watching this, you don't want to do that. <laughs> so that being the case, um, you know, you can do things like watching more positive things on social media, staying away from negative stuff like the media, like the news. I um, you know, I don't watch the news. I don't like the news. I think it's very, very negative. Um, but staying away from negative people is a big thing too. So who you surround yourself with is extremely important, right? You hear, might have heard the saying, you know, show me your friends and I'll show you your future or show me your network and I'll show you your net worth um, are pretty common ones that I hear a lot. And you want to make sure that, you know, the, you're surrounding yourself with other folks who are trying to achieve and, and who see the value in what you're doing and can, you know, they're not going to hold your hand through it, but they're going to realize that you're working hard and, and you're going to see them working hard and it's going to drive you to uh, push further and do more, right? Sort of that high tide raises all ships. So you definitely want to evaluate who you're around, um, what your surroundings and your environment are like, and do your best to turn them into positive things that are congruent with what you're looking to achieve. <clears throat> so I want you to think about 
why you're doing what you're doing. Why are you watching this video right now? What do you want to get out of this, right? Um, you know, what brought you to this point? Are you in a career right now that you're not happy with and you want to use, you know, like an online fitness model to, to sort of get that rewarding feeling or build a business for yourself or whatever you want to do? Um, you know, think about why you're doing it. Are you just doing it to make money or you're doing it because you actually care and you want to help people? I mean, the latter is probably what's going to get you further through this journey than, you know, just wanting to make money. There's plenty of ways to make money. Um, and there's plenty of ways to help people, but I would say that being able to, to contribute and serve others is, is definitely gonna be a lot more rewarding in the end. Uh, I want you to think about who and what inspire you, inspire you to, to make this leap or to, you know, get started or to ignite the fire, right? If you already started before something inspired you to get going, what was that thing? Reacquaint yourself with it, right? It might be something new. You just found that inspires you get around that, right? Get that in your life a lot so that you can maintain that momentum um, as you're going through this. And I want you to, we're going to get into goal setting a little bit, but I want you to start to think about what's your end goal. Like, what are you trying to get out of doing this? You know, is it something where you can have a side hustle and support your kids? Is it something where you want to make a full career change? You want to, you know, do this and retire early? I, you know, I don't know. You have to answer that question for yourself, but I want you to start to think about what that end goal would be. Now, the next question I ask you is how much do you care? Like I said before, you're going to be going into a service industry or you're already in a service industry. You know, how much do you care? And, and when if you can think about how much you care and how much you care about others and serving them, it's going to be very apparent whether you do or not when you talk to them. Um, you know, I've seen countless, countless trainers, even athletes, too, um, who, you know, when you go talk to them, the first thing they want to talk about is the PR they hit or the cert they just got or all this, you know, textbook knowledge they know about the body and all these things. Um, and quite frankly, your clients don't really give a shit. What they give a shit about is, can you get them the results they're paying for? That's what they give a shit about. They, they care about themselves, right? And I'm sure they like you as a person, but deep down they're paying you because they want something in return. Um, so first things first is people don't care how much you know till they know how much you care. So no client is ever going to listen to how much, you know, bookworm, book smart stuff you've got up in your, in your big mail and head until you can show them how much you care about them, you care about their results, their life, their aspirations and goals. And that should always be top of mind for you. If you're taking care of your people and show them you care, you'll be able to share all that other knowledge with them, you know, forever. But if you don't show them that you care up front, you're never going to break that barrier and be able to really explain to them, hey, here's why you have to, you know, eat a certain way. Here's why you have to exercise a certain way. They're not going to care about the science and the physiology if you don't really seem to care about them as a person. Um, and this second quote was from uh, one of my mentors I got, and I thought it was really, really awesome the first time I heard it, and it's stuck with me ever since, uh, even years later, and is, uh, you need to be a friend to get a friend. So if you want someone to, you know, come in and, and spend money on you and invest in you, and you want to, you know, grow your circle and do all these things, you got to be a friend first. You got to give something up front to, to bring them in and, and have them give back to you. So just keep that in mind as you go through this. You have to be a friend to get a friend. What's in it for them? That's the question. Now, how can you build momentum uh, in your mindset and your business is always asking yourself, what's in it for them? You know, why am I making this online course? Why am I going to coach people? Why am I going to give them this certain program? Why am I going to tell them to eat this way? You have to approach it with the, with the mindset of what's in it for this person, what's in it for my client. Um, and if you can do that, all your decisions are going to be centered around the people you're helping. So you want to make sure that everything you're doing is centered around your clients and their results, their goals, and their dreams. And if you can do that, they're going to love everything you give them all the time because it's going to be right in line with what they're looking for. Um, and it's going to show that you care. And then, you know, kind of goes hand in hand with this is service and contribution. So you want to keep your mindset in a place where you're coming from a place of service and contribution, you know, not this sort of okay, well, if I get 10 clients and they just pay me this much every month and they stick with me for 12 months or five years, then I'll make this much money and I'll be able to, you know, you have to think about it from a sense of how can you keep giving to these people and contributing to them um, and you don't have to worry about whether or not they're going to stick with you and you don't have to worry about whether or not you're going to have enough clients. You're going to have people showing up left and right. Um, one, because the people who are already with you are going to be speaking volumes about how awesome you are. And two, you're going to be building a lot of momentum by helping the initial clients that you get. So once you do things kind of from this perspective of service and contribution up front, 
you see that they're getting a lot of value add out of it. It builds a lot of confidence in you. You start to realize, hey, my stuff actually works. Um, you know, or if you were in a rut, you're like, hey, if things are moving again. Okay, this is cool. Go back to asking yourself, how else can I serve? How else can I contribute? And it'll help just perpetuate that success. So let's get some in, into some of the uh, the nitty gritty here. So uh, goal setting. So there's a lot of like hand wavy stuff out there about goal setting and you kind of heard everything smart goals and this, that, whatever. We're not going to go real deep in that stuff. I think it's kind of like old hat, um, but there are some things that you should be doing. And uh, the next piece we're going to get to is even, I think, even more important than the goal setting piece. So um, you need to ask yourself, what do you want to achieve? What do you want to get out of doing this coaching stuff? You know, is it, is it money? Is it, Hey, I want to just help more people. Do I want to get my name out there. Do I want to, you know, my ultimate goal is to partner with somebody and build a company or whatever. That's fine. Um, but you need to have a, an idea of where you want to go, right? It's one thing to get in the car and just drive. It's another to get in the car and actually drive with a destination in mind. Do we want to figure out what that destination is now, whatever that is, I'm guaranteeing you it's probably not enough. So if you want to make a million dollars, why not $10 million? Why not 50? Why not 100? You know, you should be aiming higher, further than you think, because the worst case scenario, you'll probably bypass your original goal if you don't hit the big one you set for yourself and you'll be further along than you thought anyway. So shoot high, aim high. If you have this goal of getting 20 clients, let's make it 50, make it 100, you know, push beyond what you think is possible. And again, it kind of goes back to that self-esteem piece. The only thing that's limiting you really is your vision of yourself, right? Do you have the self-esteem to believe that you can achieve more than you've already set out to do? And the answer is yes, but you need to believe that, right? So whatever your goals might be, um, you know, let's say it's, I don't know, make a million dollars, right? Or maybe it's, I want to have a hundred clients. Maybe that's, a, that's your goal and have coaches working for you and that kind of stuff. Um, you know, you could say, hey, uh, you want to have it in the present tense, right? You'd write down, my goal is, you know, I have a client base of 100 clients and five coaches working under me. That's your goal, right? Notice it's in the present tense. So I have 100 clients and five coaches working for me. Okay. That's one of your goals and you can have goals for anything, your finances, your business, um, you as an athlete, uh, your family, whatever you like is fine. But the big thing here is you need to write them down every day. So I've actually got, pull it up here, my notebook here. Um, and every, you know, day I sit down at my desk, pop it open and I write down all my goals. And I probably have maybe seven or eight that are pretty consistent that are written down every single day. And these goals are going to act as your framework as we get into the next piece here, which is affirmations. This is an absolute game changer. It's going to sound silly, <laughs> but I'm telling you, um, this is awesome. So I picked this one up from Dan Pena. If you guys haven't checked him out, definitely give him a YouTube watch. Um, keep your volume turned down a little bit and he can get loud. <laughs> and definitely don't watch it at work, that's for sure, uh, given his language. But dude's awesome. He knows what he's talking about. Um, and he's definitely been there, done that. So I scoop these up from, from uh, Mr. Pena. So the affirmations, in my opinion, uh, I'm sure he would say as well, are the, are the key to success beyond the... the um, other stuff we talked about and that this is going to help you to sort of build that momentum, that self-esteem to keep going. So uh, why do they work? I mean, affirmations are basically that sort of daily visualization. Like athletes have been known to do these for thousands of years. You know, athletes at the first Olympics thousands of years ago were doing affirmations and they have ever since. So um, they're kind of creeping into the business world a lot more now. Um, and I found them for Dan. Dan's a big business guy. But um it's basically you're, you're telling yourself, you're telling yourself sub, uh, subconscious what you're going to do. And the best part about it is your subconscious doesn't know that you're full of shit. So you can make up whatever you want and just tell yourself this positive stuff over and over and over again. And after the millionth time, your brain, your subconscious starts to believe it. And if you keep telling yourself that enough, every success you have is sort of a self uh, fulfilling prophecy, right? You, you've told yourself you're going to be doing these things. So once you actually achieve it, you're that much more, um, you know, excited about it. And you feel that much more vested in the success because you're the one who put it on the table and you're the one who told yourself you're going to do it. So we're going to go over, um, how to write them right now, but uh, I should probably flip these two basically when to say them and how to write them. But when you should say these, uh, is going to be first thing in the morning when you wake up, 
and it's gonna be the last thing you do before you go to bed. So what I do is I get in bed at night, I pull them up on my phone and I just read them to myself. Uh, and I have about 20, you should try to have probably about 20 of them as well. Just gets, it's, it's, if you have three or four, you're over with it like too fast, but if you have about 20, you can just like ingrain this stuff in your head. Now you might only have five or 10 goals, it's fine. Write two or three affirmations for each one. That's, that's totally cool. I have, um, I think for my, one of my first goals, I think I have four affirmations for my first one. So there's four right there. Um, so you can definitely do it that way. Um, so first thing, uh, when before you go to bed, this way it's kind of sitting in your subconscious the whole night while you're sleeping. And then when you get up in the morning, excuse me, um, you say them first thing. So your brain can kind of take inventory on what happened while you were asleep. And it's a good way to start your day. Just kind of remind you like, hey, here's what I'm setting out to do uh, long term. And, and it kind of helps to instill that value in yourself uh, right as soon as you wake up. Now, how to write them. So this, the formula here on the right looks a little, uh, <laughs> a little bland, but we'll get into an actual example in a second. So you always want to write these in the present tense. So they're always going to start with I am, um, and you're going to go from there. You're going to add some sort of adjective followed by an adverb, followed by a present tense verb, and then whatever the goal might be. So I have an example here. So let's say your goal is I'm adding 10 new clients to my client base each week. The affirmation that would coincide with that would be, um, I am overwhelmed with excitement, easily adding 10 or more clients to my program each and every week. Now there are a few components here, we go back, right? I'm gonna kind of flip between the slides here, but present tense, right? We have the I am, for sure. Then an adjective, so overwhelmed with excitement. I, it could be anything, I'm happy, I'm thrilled, I'm ecstatic. Uh, you you choose, mix them up, each one, it doesn't really matter. But I'm overwhelmed with excitement, and we have our little adverb there, easily, right? I'm easy, it's so easy how, how I'm achieving this, right? I'm easily adding. 10 and then or more, right? Because we don't want to stop at 10. What if I could add 20 clients a week? So we're going to say 10 or more clients to my program each and every week. And I want you to go through and you're going to write down your goal, whatever it might be, and then write two or three affirmations to each one. Okay, so um, if your goal is, you know, I want to make, I want to increase my um, cash flow by, I don't know, $500 a week. You could say I'm ecstatic. Um, how effort, um, ecstatic, just effortlessly adding $500 or more to my cash flow each and every week, you know, stuff like that. And just stack them up. Like I said, you should have about 20 of them and you should be reading them right before you go to bed and first thing in the morning. You get up, you get moving, write your goals down, go about your day. And if you do that day in and day out, I'm telling you, it's just going to build this momentum in your head that's going to make you unstoppable. It's, I've been doing it for a little while now and it has been incredible so can't can't speak highly enough about that stuff so just to recap we'll kind of go back through the slides here is your mindset your self-esteem your your view of yourself and self-worth is the most important piece period you're, you're not going to be successful in this um you know you can't go out and be helping other people and do all this stuff if you if you don't have the confidence to to believe in yourself and what you're doing and that there's value in what you're doing so we want to keep that top of mind Remind yourself of why you're doing this. Like, what are you looking to get out of it? Um, you know, and how much you care about these other people. Like, they're they're out there because they need help, and you're here to help them. Think about what's in it for them. What what are you bringing to the table? What's going to help these people to achieve their goals? And then get into your own goal setting. Find out what you want to achieve in your business, your life, um, your own fitness, and then we're going to turn that into affirmations. Say those every day, and I'm telling you, in no time, your confidence is going to be through the roof, and you guys will be crushing it. So. Hope you like this video. If you can, hit the like button below. Leave a comment with anything else you'd like me to cover on this channel. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video. We'll see you on the next one.